It was a very unique encounter. We were just obsessing over this blue shark that came by. And within a split second, I just see a great white shark go through my screen. You're told the great white shark is the king of the ocean. That's a lie. When marine biologists found a tag from a missing nine-foot great white, the data was so bizarre it sounded like science fiction. Now we've learned they took that impossible data to a Google AI, hoping for answers. The AI processed the information from the shark's final moments, a sudden temperature spike and an impossible dive into the abyss. Instead of solving the mystery, the AI flatlined, but not before hinting at a monstrous cannibalistic giant hiding in the deep. The impossible event, the rugged wild coastline of Western Australia back in late 2003. It's a place known for its raw power and of course, its great white sharks. Marine biologists were doing what they do best, a routine study. They tagged a perfectly healthy, nine-foot-long female great white, let's call her Shark Alpha, to track her movements. For a few weeks, everything was normal. The data came in, showing her swimming along the coastline, just like any other shark. But then, about four months into the study, something went terribly wrong. Shark Alpha vanished. Out of the blue, her tracking tag popped up on a beach. When the research team got their hands on it, they expected to see months of migration data. Instead, they found the digital diary of a nightmare. Get this, the data showed that the shark, swimming in chilly 46 degree water, was suddenly in an environment that was 78 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a massive instant jump in temperature. Truth be told, there's only one place in the ocean with a temperature like that, inside the stomach of another warm-bodied animal. And that was just the beginning. The moment the temperature shot up, the tag recorded a terrifying plunge. It was dragged straight down almost 1,900 feet into the crushing darkness of the deep ocean. This wasn't a gentle drift. It was a power dive, the kind only a massive, fast-moving predator could make. For several days, the tag kept moving inside this creature before it was let out and floated to the surface. The scientists were floored. A nine-foot apex predator eaten alive? It just didn't make sense. It was a direct challenge to everything they knew about the ocean's hierarchy. This wasn't some fisherman's tale. This was hard, cold data. The predator had left a digital fingerprint, a clue to a mystery that would haunt researchers for years. The question wasn't if she was eaten, but what could possibly do it? This single event kicked off a global fascination, even leading to a documentary called The Hunt for the Super Predator. Because if something can eat a great white hole, what else is it capable of? The search for answers would lead them down a path of terrifying possibilities, but one modern attempt to solve it would prove more shocking than the event itself. What the original team didn't have was the technology we have today, and when new scientists fed this old data into one of the world's most powerful AIs, the mystery took a dark, unexpected turn. The mystery of Shark Alpha has become the stuff of legend in marine biology circles. The official theory that it was a larger cannibal shark was widely accepted but never felt completely satisfying. There were just too many unknowns. So a team of researchers decided to try something new. They took all the original data from 2003, the temperature spike, the depth profile, the speed of the descent, the location off Australia's infamous Shark Alley, and fed it into a cutting edge Google AI designed for complex ecological modeling. This wasn't just some computer program. This AI had access to petabytes of information. Every known predator's hunting patterns, migration routes, metabolic rates, and documented attacks. The goal was simple. Let the machine cross-reference every data point to find the one creature whose profile fit the crime perfectly. The team watched, hoping the AI would spit out a clear answer and finally put the mystery to bed. For hours, the AI crunched the numbers. 
It ran millions of simulations. It compared the event to orca attacks, to squid encounters, and of course to other great whites. The system processed and discarded theory after theory. Then things got weird. The AI's processing speed began to slow and its internal diagnostic logs started flashing warnings. It was reportedly struggling to reconcile the predator's size, speed, and thermal data with any known living species. It was as if the data described something that shouldn't exist. And then it happened. Without any final conclusion or report, the advanced AI shut down. It didn't crash with an error message. It went completely dark. A system designed to handle the most complex data on the planet was silenced. The engineers, completely baffled, managed to recover only one data fragment from its cache before the shutdown. It wasn't a name or a species. It was a projected size chart. On one side was the nine-foot shark alpha. On the other side was a shadowy silhouette labeled Predator X, and its estimated size was a staggering 25 feet, and it weighed over 5,000 pounds, far larger than what the original scientists had dared to theorize. The AI didn't solve the mystery. It made it a thousand times worse. It shut down because the only logical conclusion it could reach was a creature so far outside the accepted norms of biology that it was considered an anomaly, a ghost in the machine. The team was left with a chilling realization. The super predator was bigger and badder than anyone had ever imagined. The AI silence was deafening, forcing researchers to go back to the drawing board and re-examine the most popular and most flawed theory they had. Was it possible that the ocean's most intelligent mammal was behind this, and the AI just couldn't believe it? Before the AI's terrifying silence, the public and many scientists had a favorite suspect, the orca or huge whale. And let's be real, it makes sense on the surface. Orcas are the undisputed gangsters of the sea. They are not big fish. They are hyper-intelligent marine mammals that hunt with frightening precision and teamwork. They operate in sophisticated family pods using complex vocalizations to coordinate their attacks on everything from seals to blue whales. And yes, they absolutely hunt great white sharks. For a long time, this was just a theory but in recent years, the proof has become undeniable and frankly gruesome. In 2017, five great white carcasses washed up on the beaches of South Africa. Each one had the same bizarre injury, a neat, almost surgical tear in its side with its liver missing. Sometimes the heart was gone too. The rest of the massive body, completely untouched. The culprits were believed to be a now infamous pair of orcas known as Port and Starboard. These two had developed a specialized taste for shark liver, which is packed with a high energy oil called squalene. It's like a Red Bull for whales. They perfected a brutal hunting technique. They ram a shark, flip it upside down to induce a state of paralysis called tonic immobility, and then precisely extract the liver. The evidence is overwhelming. Drone footage from 2022 even captured orcas methodically chasing down a great white, which was fleeing for its life. When orcas show up, sharks bail, period. In South Africa and California, entire populations of great whites have been observed abandoning their prime feeding grounds for months after a single orca pod passes through. The kings of the ocean, it turns out, are terrified of them. So, could an orca have been responsible for what happened to Shark Alpha back in 2003? It's a compelling idea. An orca is certainly one of the few things in the ocean strong enough and smart enough to take on a nine-foot great white. But here's the thing. When you look closely at the data from the tag, the orca theory starts to fall apart piece by piece. The evidence just doesn't line up and the details reveal why this brutal huge, despite its reputation, simply couldn't be our culprit. Why it wasn't a huge whale. Okay, so orcas are certified shark huges. Case closed, right? Not so fast. 
As appealing as the orca theory is, the hard data from Shark Alpha's tag tells a different story. It's the little details that poke big holes in this idea, and for scientists, the details are everything. First, let's talk about the temperature. The tag recorded a jump to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. While orcas are warm-blooded, their internal body temperature is much hotter, usually hovering between 96 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If an orca had swallowed that tag, the reading should have been significantly higher. The 78 degree mark, however, perfectly matches the internal stomach temperature of a large digesting great white shark, which can heat its core while hunting in cold water. The numbers just don't fit an orca. Then there's the way it ate. Orcas are picky surgical eaters. They rip out the liver and discard the rest. The data from the tag suggests Shark Alpha was swallowed or at least consumed in a way that brought the tag deep inside another animal's digestive system. An orca doesn't eat a nine-foot shark like it's a piece of popcorn. It performs an organectomy. The swallowed whole scenario points away from an orca and toward a predator with a very different feeding style. The biggest red flag, though, is the dive. After the attack, the tag was pulled down nearly 1,900 feet into the deep. Orcas are air-breathing mammals. While they can dive deep, they are primarily surface and midwater hunters. They have no reason to drag their prey into the abyss. The sudden deep plunge is, however, classic behavior for a very large great white. They are known to make dramatic vertical migrations, diving deep to digest, travel, or hunt. The movement pattern recorded by the tag screams, shark, not whale. Finally, there's the aftermath. In South Africa, when port and starboard go on a lethal spree, every shark in the area gets the memo and flees. It causes a mass evacuation. Yet in the Australian case, other sharks in the region didn't seem to panic. Their behavior remained normal. This suggests the attack was a localized, isolated event, more like a territorial dispute than a raid by a traveling orca pod. So if it wasn't an orca, what was it? The evidence, the temperature, the dive, and the method of consumption all pointed back to the most unsettling conclusion of all. The monster that eliminated Shark Alpha wasn't a rival species. It was one of its own. With the orca theory debunked by the data and with the AI's cryptic warning of a massive unknown predator, researchers were forced to confront the most likely and most terrifying suspect, another great white shark. But this wasn't just any shark. This was a super predator, a colossal cannibalistic great white so large and dominant it viewed a nine-foot shark not as a rival but as a meal. Shark cannibalism isn't a myth. It's a brutal reality of the ocean. For some species, it starts in the womb with embryos eating their siblings to survive. While adult-on-adult -adult cannibalism is rarer, it happens, usually driven by territorial disputes, competition for food, or sheer size difference. A bigger, stronger shark will often eliminate a smaller one to secure its hunting grounds. In this case, the predator would have had to be enormous. Scientists estimate that to swallow a nine-foot shark, the attacker would need to be at least 16 to 20 feet long and weigh over 4,000 pounds. The AI's chilling projection put it even bigger, closer to 25 feet. A shark of that size is the stuff of nightmares. It would be a true leviathan, an apex among apex predators. The data from the tag supports this perfectly. The 78-degree stomach temperature is a dead ringer for a large Great White's metabolism. The 1,900-foot dive is well within their known capabilities. And most importantly, the attack itself was an ambush. There were no signs of a struggle or a chase in the data. Shark Alpha was there one second and gone the next, swallowed into the dark. This suggests an attack of overwhelming force and stealth a classic move for a dominant shark establishing its rule. This colossal shark theory aligns with the AI's dramatic shutdown. 
A machine programmed with known biological limits would struggle to process a predator that exists so far on the edge of the bell curve. A 25-foot, 5,000-pound great white is not something you find in textbooks. It's a ghost, a rogue giant that likely lives its life in the deep, remote canyons of the ocean, far from research boats and human eyes. It would have no reason to surface. It would be the undisputed king of its deep water kingdom, enforcing its rules silently and violently. In the end, the most accurate theory is also the most primal. There was no mythical sea monster, and it wasn't the work of a huge whale. The predator was a bigger, meaner version of the victim itself. Somewhere out there, in the cold, dark waters off Australia, a monstrous cannibal shark patrols the depths. A true king of the ocean whose existence was only proven because it made one mistake, it swallowed a tracker. Is the food chain we know just an illusion hiding titans we haven't even discovered yet? Like and subscribe for more mysteries from the deep.